you must deliver the rest of these passengers. Of course, sir. Winston, we must hurry. Today is a busy day. <laughs> Not to worry. It's early days yet. <laughs> That's right, sir. Early days. Of course, sir. Bye, Thomas. <laughs> Goodbye, Winston. <laughs> Thomas liked Winston already. So did Annie and Clarabelle. We have a new friend. We like Winston. <laughs> Emily was taking Paxton to the diesel works. I'm sorry you were in an accident, Paxton. It must have been horrible. Oh, it's uh, not so bad, Emily. A biff and a bash, that's all. Then Thomas came hurrying along the track. Hello, Emily. Hello, Paxton. Are you all right? Just a biff and a bash, Thomas. That's all. They'll soon fix me up when I'll get to the diesel works. I'm sure they will, Paxton. Good luck. I must hurry. They're waiting for me up at the Blue Mountain Quarry. Be careful up there, Thomas. But Thomas was already far away. Thomas was excited that Sir Topham Hatt had given him the job of working with the narrow gauge engines. By the time he reached the Blue Mountain Quarry, he had almost forgotten about Paxton. And then, Thomas saw what had happened to the bridge. Oh, my! Hello, Thomas! The narrow gauge engines were much smaller than Thomas. Hello, Thomas! They ran on narrow rails. Hello, Thomas! Hello, my friends. Reneus, what happened? Were you in an accident too? Well, I did get a few extra scrapes and scratches, Thomas. Actually, I could really use a fresh... It could have been worse. Luckily, Reneus is still safe and in good working order. Ready for... A fresh coat of paint? <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, ready for work. Okay, Scarlowy. I'm ready to huff my hardest. Just show me what I need to do. Wheels face to the mountain, hear the rumble and chuck. Wheels grinding and growling, and funnels pump. Got to, got to work hard. 